Hi, my name is Karel, and in this video, I would like to show you the maintenance request module for EAM for Business Central. With the maintenance request module inside of your EAM for Business Central, all of your Business Central users will be able to submit a request to your maintenance team. Everything in this video is from the asset manager's perspective. It's a bit easier to create a request from this perspective, but all of your BC users will be able to search for maintenance requests and create a request. So let me lead you through the requesting process. What you can see here are maintenance request groups. You can create those in the request setup. The maintenance request groups make it easier for the requesters to choose the right asset they want to create a request for. You can choose both a maintenance request group or choose a specific asset. For now, I'm going to choose a maintenance request group and create a request for it. Next, I need to fill in the request type, priority, and a short description, and then click create a request. Now the request was created. You can also write more details here, upload files, and requesters can also take pictures from the integrated camera on their mobile devices. When you click finish, the system is going to create a report that is going to be sent to an email based on the request type. In the request setup, you can set up the emails generated and specifically to which emails are the reports going to be sent to based on the request type. So here on the top, you can see the created request. So let's open it. As a maintenance user, so as a technician or an asset manager, I'm going to see more things than a non-maintenance user would see. A non-maintenance user would only see those two buttons on the top and would not be able to edit anything here. The requesters, however, can add comments. They can edit their own comments and read comments from the maintenance team. You can also set it up in a way in the request setup, that every time someone changes the request, and that includes the comments, the requester or the maintenance user assigned to the request is going to receive a notification. As the asset manager, we can change the request type or priority, we can assign it to a different user or a maintenance group, and we can choose a different maintenance request group, or choose a specific asset if we know which asset the requester meant. So as a member of the maintenance team, I would want to let the requester know that his request is being worked on, so let's write the comment, we are working on it here. And as already said, if you decide to set it up that way, the requester is going to receive a notification about any changes in the request, including comments. And now that the request is filled in, we can directly from here create a work order or attach the request to a work order plan. So let me show you how to create a work order from here. The system automatically fills in the asset number and the priority from the request. You need to write the description of the work order, optionally fill in the instructions, choose the category code, and now the work order is created. As the maintenance manager, you would also probably want to see some stats about the requests. When the request is closed, you will be able to see the time it took to close it. You will be able to get an overview of ongoing requests, so new, open, unassigned. And you will be able to get statistics on time per request based on request type. So here you can see that type noise maintenance requests take about 11 hours and setup tools type maintenance requests take about 4 hours.